How close is this one, Tim? Moving in the right direction after positive talks between the two clubs. We touched on this a little bit earlier on, didn't we? Discussions are underway to finalise a fee and a payment schedule. City are demanding at least five times the £40 million they paid River Plate for him. Pep said at the weekend that he was expecting him back after the Olympics. Alvarez himself said he'd make a decision after the Olympics in Paris. But this one looks to be moving quite quickly now. And linked to this, Chelsea are in talks to sign the Atletico Madrid striker Samu Omarodian. Now, the fee being discussed here is around £35 million. Any deal will depend on Atletico getting a striker in. So that's the link with uh, Alvarez. He's a player with huge potential. Still only 20. He's another that's actually featuring at the Olympics. He's playing for Spain. He spent last season Argentina. on loan at Alavés. So, yeah, exciting developments. And it is a bit of a, a transfer jigsaw puzzle when it comes to strikers. Yeah, and talking of that jigsaw puzzle, uh, it's just going to be very interesting to see what happens now with Romelu Lukaku and Victor Osimhen because a couple of weeks ago, that was the big deal we were potentially talking about. Romelu Lukaku going to Napoli on a permanent deal. They won around £35 million for him. But within those talks, Chelsea getting Victor Osimhen and Napoli wanted to have a permanent aspect attached to this deal. But given his release clause, I don't think Chelsea would want to go over £100 million. So maybe there was talk of a loan with an option that became an obligation in that deal. The reason Napoli would want a permanent aspect of that deal is because the wages that Romelu Lukaku is on are high. Victor Osserman's wages are incredibly high as well. They couldn't have a situation come next summer where both Lukaku and Osserman were at the football club. Now, because of these developments today with regard to Julian Alvarez potentially going to Atletico Madrid and Omar Odion coming to Chelsea, does that mean that the Osimhen lukaku deal is not going to happen. Well, Doesn't the information it? that we're having, that we're getting, is that those talks are continuing still because Napoli are desperate to sign Romelu Lukaku. Antonio Conte is their head coach. He managed Romelu Lukaku when Inter Milan won the Serie A title in 2021 and Lukaku was absolutely extraordinary. He earned his move to Chelsea with that form. Whereas Victor Osimhen, Napoli do know that they'd have to offload him if they wanted to bring someone like Lukaku in. And maybe Chelsea can see an opportunity there by thinking, let's get him on loan first, let's get an obligation in. And if they bring in a young striker like the, the guy from Atletico Madrid and Osimhen, maybe one can learn from someone like Victor Osimhen. So all, like, all deals look like they're on the table still. For, for the Alvarez deal to Atletico Madrid, Omar Odion to Chelsea, and that potential deal that will see Lukaku go to Napoli, Osimhen potentially still go to Chelsea. Tim, apologies. I meant Alvarez was at the Olympics with um, Argentina. Luke, sporting director's view, at City, how much of a problem is this for, for City, giving, letting a World Cup winner go, knowing you've got to get a replacement in who knows he's going to be a backup to Erling Haaland? I think that's the issue they've got that Alvarez will want to play. And I'm sure if um, Atletico Madrid are in for him, he'll have some certainties that he will be there. They will go there to be the main striker. Um, the only thing that I would say with City is they're so good at what they do. They will have, they'll know who's coming in already if Alvarez is going to go. Um, I don't think it will hurt them too much, even if they have to get to the January window to get that, that replacement in, just because of the cover they've got and the way they play. Uh, we saw them before Haaland turn up, play without a, um, a striker. So they will have their, their targets, and I only believe they'll let him go if they believe one of their targets is ready to come in.